Okay. Well, we have our four books that I'm going to use for my quarter hoarder wheat penny challenge 2020. Where the challenge is uh, to see how many of the holes you can fill in, you know, in a, in a penny collection in a year of metal detecting. And I went ahead and joined into the group. And um, it's uh, online, Facebook, you can check it out, I'll put the link below. And uh, yeah, just um, brings a little more fun into the whole wheat penny find thing. Always, always fun to find a wheat penny. So here's my first official one. I have my pile for the year, I've kept them separate since January, but I didn't get the books. So, so I'm going back through my uh, pennies now, I'm going to fill them in. And the first one is a... 1924 no mint mark that means it's a Philadelphia the cool thing about these books is that it has not only the year but each one that was made that year and then how many were minted so you can see how many were made and uh, which ones you don't have yet some of those being very rare and then we have um, this is oh 1900 to 1940 and then we have a book that goes back to 1850 and then we have a couple blank ones that were used for after 1940 and any doubles and anything that's too messed up and doesn't have a date I'm just going to put this on the start of the next adventure so when you hear me say got another weedy for the wheat penny challenge you know what I'm talking about and then check out the link below if you want to join in on the fun I need to go detecting being in motion is part of what keeps me sane. Um, we're going metal detecting. I have the Garrett AT Pro. We have come to the city of Clear Lake. And uh, we're just out along the water. And this is what we have found so far. I'm not complaining. I'm getting to use my detector. And we found that many coins on this one, no beach. Well, that was one spill. I think we are going to move off this beach, though, and I don't know what. You're welcome to come with me. Okay, we are on the road again, and yes, we are heading north along the east side. And uh, I'm just in search of older coins. We dug a bunch of targets. Uh, or more populated beaches, whatever. Just got the urge to move. Going with the groove. Yeah, I mean, this little spot, we were actually rock downing along the shore the other day because the mama duck. And her babies. Just trying to get them into this little cove where we're at. Where apparently a lot of people swim. Don't worry, she's got a spot down there. And I pulled a quarter out of here. And then got an 81 signal. It's looking like a dime. Trying to get some dating on activity. Okay, it's been there for a little while. I don't see the date, let me get that. It's actually a 2000's dime, like the quarter, so we're gonna move on. But the silver here does turn to dark black and uh, off color like that, so we have to pay attention. I'm trying to keep you out of the wind, hopefully it'll work. Today we are using the Garrett AT Pro. I have it in zero discrimination, pro audio mode. Sensitivity turned almost all the way up, and I see that we are getting low on batteries. Um, and that's about all there is to report on that. My iron discrimination is uh, zero, zero. Yeah, and we have a new scratch on the screen, it looks like. Gotta be careful with that. Another lead sinker recovered. That's more lead out of the water by treasure hunters. And let me pan you across the lake without any audio in the wind and show you the sun shining down.
iron in the back on it. It's got an older coin spill, but so far the weedy is the oldest. And this is a 67, so back there, but not quite. And it came with is also not seen. It's chasing the signal through the sand. They just don't make any noise here. It's so... They just don't make any noise. That is a 43. It got scuffed on the gravel a little bit. But right, we got a Merc. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Lake. Well, that was an entire day of working, I think, nine beaches or something. So, But look at the view. I mean, we just did 20, I don't know, 20 miles and nine beaches. So, nothing easy. Lead, phone battery, razor blade, fuel filter, fishing gear, debris, fishing line, other targets besides treasure. I think that's the end of an old cap gun. 30 pennies, one cent pieces, an old fishing lure. 8 25 cent pieces 1967 is the oldest there and we have 10 dimes these are 10 cent pieces and there are 10 of them zipper pieces of copper wire and then the stars of the day we have our 1953 wheat penny And I cleaned this one up a little bit. The black seemed to lift off of it. And no bad damage from our digging. 1943. And that is a beautiful mercury dime. You see the black still stuck around on the back more. So, long hunt. A lot of beaches. A lot of stops. A lot of good views. And we got our silver. And our weedy. Another one for the Wheat Penny Challenge, I'm filling up my books. Thank you for coming with me on the quest for details, on another quest for treasure. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you're getting out there, and if you can't, you're always invited to keep coming along with me. Remember, you can subscribe, it's free, hit the bell symbol next to it, and that'll always send you a notification when we put out a video, that way you can choose if you want to watch it or not, and not miss anything. Also, um, if you hit the thumbs up, which means liking the video, then uh, it lets the algorithm, other viewers, and me know that you like the video and to keep going. So don't be afraid to hit that. Other than that, share it with anybody you feel like might enjoy this video or benefit from it. Comment below, and I will see you on down the road at the next location. Quest on.